Like millions of other men, you've been prescribed an intermittent catheter to use when you empty your bladder. If you're new to this and you're feeling uncertain, that's totally normal. But don't worry, it will become a habit in no time. Whether it's your first time or you're already experienced, this video can help you find the approach that works best for you. The catheter you're using is the Gentle Cath Intermittent Catheter. It has a soft and rounded tip, and the eyelets are rounded and polished. This helps to make the insertion and removal smooth and gentle. If you're using a coude tip, you'll notice a mark or raised fin at the end of your catheter. This is so you can see which way the tip is pointing. This will be explained in more detail later. Before you start, remember to wash your hands thoroughly. This is important because it can help reduce infections. Now it's time to get into the position you find most comfortable. Stand in front of the toilet. Now pull down your pants and stand comfortably. Gently pull back your foreskin and clean your penis, especially around the entrance to your urethra. You can use soap and water or an antiseptic wipe. Now you're ready to lubricate your catheter using water-soluble lubricant. There are several ways you can do this. Option one, tear a corner off the lubricant sachet and dip the catheter tip into it. Option two, peel the pack back a little way and then squirt the lube into the peel pack. This will coat the catheter as you remove it from the pack. Option three, tear open the pack and remove the catheter. Squeeze lubricant onto an exposed part of the inside of the peel pack, then dip the catheter into the small puddle of lubricant. Now you're ready to insert your catheter. Hold your penis near the end with one finger on either side. Pull it slightly to help stretch and straighten the urethra. Point your penis upward towards your stomach, making the urethra into a U-bend shape. Remember not to squeeze it, as this can narrow the urethral opening. When you're ready, hold the catheter two to three inches, or five to 10 centimeters from the tip, and slowly and steadily insert the catheter into your urethra. Continue to insert the catheter slowly and steadily until you reach your sphincter muscle, just before the bladder. You will feel a slight resistance at this point. As you become more experienced, you'll be able to judge how close you are as you insert your catheter. When you've reached your sphincter, make sure your penis is pointing down and take a moment to relax. If you're finding it hard to relax, here are some tips. You can try taking deep breaths or wiggling your toes, perfect if you're in a public place, as this is a quiet way to relax. Or some people find a cough, then a firm push works well. <coughs> You can simply wait a few seconds while you relax. Or you might want to distract yourself with something. Male lobsters have their bladders in their heads. When they fight, they squirt each other in the face with urine. When you feel relaxed, push slowly but firmly until the urine starts to flow. Once the urine starts coming out of your catheter, you know you've inserted it correctly. Push it in another inch or two centimeters to make sure both holes are in the bladder. That's the hard part done. Now simply let the urine flow out. To help push urine out of your bladder, you can try pressing on your abdomen with your free hand or leaning forward. Once urine stops flowing, slowly remove the catheter. Stop if more urine starts to flow until no more comes through. This is to make sure all the urine is emptied. Continue to remove the catheter. You might notice a slight suction effect as the catheter is removed. You may find it useful to point your penis upward this will help the catheter slide out more easily. Be sure to point the catheter back down as the end of it comes out of your urethra. This is because a small amount of urine may come out of the catheter once you have fully removed it. Pinching or folding the catheter will help prevent this and may minimize any suction effect. Place your catheter back into its packet. Now simply throw into the trash. Remember, your catheter is for one-time use only. Use a new one each time you empty your bladder. Remember to give your hands a good wash when you're done. Your healthcare professional should be consulted before performing intermittent catheterization, and you should work with them on the best technique for you. This video is meant only to help visualize the advice and directions given to you by your healthcare professional. Please consult the instructions for use document that accompanied the product before performing intermittent catheterization.